Good morning, everybody. I know I say this all the time and I wave. It's Anne with the Graceful Yogi. Um, today we are going to do a nice 60 minute stretchy yoga class. So uh, if you haven't, please bring a couple of yoga blocks to your mat. Also bring a yoga strap to the mat. And let's come down to a seated position on a uh, yoga block or a meditation pillow or neither. Maybe you just are gonna sit straight down to the ground, which is awesome. Uh, again, um, what I like to say in the beginning of class, any class I teach is that it's more about this is your class and your body and you set your intention on, on how you want your class to go. And um, it's also just uh, being a part of, I'm the vessel of kind of my voice uh, allowing you to put, you know, um, verbally cue you into these positions. And at any time, if any of these positions or poses don't feel good, you can either just slide into a child's pose or come up to your knees or whatever feels good to you. Um, you know, come to a seating pose, whatever feels good. All right. So, the rule of the game of um, aging gracefully, if it doesn't feel good, don't do it. But the other little cue to this is sometimes you have to use your breath to sort of stretch into it, okay? So sometimes it feels a little wonky and you just kind of let go and breathe and you'll feel the stretch, all right? So coming to a seated pose, we're going to close our eyes a moment. I'm going to sound a little uh, instrument here, which is was my sister's who, she was a Karpala yoga teacher. So close your eyes a moment. You sit up nice and tall. Let the shoulders just sort of melt down your back. And we're just gonna take a breath in. Again, inhale, exhale, third set, inhale, exhale, last set, inhale, And exhale. Stay with your eyes closed and try to open up your thighs a little bit more. Your hands are in front of those knees. The fingertips are nice and spread. And I want you to think about your shoulders drawing back and gently melting down the back side as your spine gets taller and the crown of your head tries to reach to the ceiling. The belly draws in. You're gently breathing here, lengthening, letting your legs just sort of open up a little bit more. Now gently just open up your eyes. Take your hands right in front of you in prayer position. I want you to open up those elbows a little bit and I want you to draw the palms down so you're getting a nice little stretch right in the wrist. Open up the fingertips and your elbows are kind of out and your palms are kind of pressing towards each other. Beautiful. And now I want you to just tap, draw the hands slowly up, tap the thumbs on the chin, the nose, the forehead, and reach your arms up as high as you can. Stretch them up as high as you can. Think about reaching up out of those hips, 
And now draw the hands towards the forehead, the nose, the chin, and right in front of you. Draw those fingers and those palms a little bit down towards your navel. Let the elbows open up. Second set, slowly draw the hands, thumbs touch the chin, the nose, the forehead, and all the way up to the top. Maybe you look up this time. And now slowly draw the hands down, tap the thumb to the nose, the chin, and then directly down in front. Shoulders melt down. Draw those palms again, a little bit towards the navel. There, I got a nice little stretch. I'm opening up my fingertips a little bit more, spreading them apart. Here's our last set. Draw the arms up again, maybe tap the chin, the nose, the forehead, and reach up again. Beautiful, and now draw back down, nice and gentle and easy. Exhaling. Release the hands and let's roll the wrists around four or five times clockwise, and then counterclockwise. Two, three, four, five. And then just kind of shake them out a little bit. Shake them out. Maybe you open up your arms a little bit, kind of shake, 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 wiggle, wiggle, wiggle. And now I'm gonna draw back and come to all fours on my knees and on my hands. I'm gonna move my meditation pillow away. And I'm just gonna have my hands and knees right, um, a nice little quadruped where I'm just gonna slide back into my first child's pose. So I'm gonna reach my hips back to the heels and I'm going to stretch my arms nice and long, maybe press the palms into the mat and just find my stretch here. Tuck the belly in. Find your child's pose, everybody. Breathe into it. Maybe you put a block underneath the head. Sink the forehead down to the mat if that's available to you. Draw the elbows close by your knees and rock a little bit side to side. Allowing that lower back, the tailbone, to stretch towards your heels. Breathing into it. Let everything go. Use your breath. I'm gonna slowly roll up, allowing myself to come to like a sitting position where I'm on my heels. I'm gonna draw the blocks in front of me. I'm gonna take both my yoga blocks and I'm gonna bring them right in front of me in um, where I would put my palms on the mat. I'm gonna put my palms onto the yoga blocks I'm gonna have a little bit of my palm off of the mat, excuse me, off of the yoga block. So a little bit off the yoga block. I'm gonna curl my toes under. I'm gonna sit back and raise my hips up to the ceiling. So I've got these nice cushiony yoga blocks helping me extend so that I can put my heels down to the mat. And I'm just gonna kind of pedal a little bit back and forth. Pedaling with my heel coming up and pressing the toes into the mat and really kind of stretching the hip out, stretching the back of the calf. Nice. And now I'm just gonna walk my feet and hands towards each other, release off of those blocks, let the head drop down. Nice little forward fold. My knees are slightly bent because I'm super tight in the back. And I'm just gonna press into the mat and I'm gonna roll up one vertebrae at a time, come to standing. Last thing to come up is my head. I'm already warming up, so I've gotta peel a layer off. I'm gonna come to standing facing you guys 
and I'm just going to bring my feet together and I'm going to stand nice and tall in mountain pose. I'm going to take my palms and they're going to face forward and I'm just going to stand here one second in mountain pose. Draw, melt those shoulders down the back, draw the belly in. You're going to inhale, draw the arms up to the ceiling, nice and tall to the ceiling. Fingertips are going to clasp. The four fingers are straight and pressed against each other. The thumbs cross over. Reach up a little bit more and now squeeze your glutes, your butt. Squeeze your butt and reach up a little bit more. You can drop the head back or you can have it forward, whatever feels good to you. Reach up a little bit more, everybody. And now gently open up those arms and draw them nice and wide and long down to the sides and slow. Beautiful. We're going to do a second set and add a bend from to the right side and left side. Inhale, draw the arms up. Exhale while you're up there. Now look forward and you're just going to side bend to the right. Side bend to the right, look forward, squeeze the glutes. Squeeze the glutes. Your head is looking forward. You have a nice little side bend. Reaching, reaching, reaching. Draw yourself back up to center. Beautiful. Inhale. Exhale. Draw to the left side. And reach. It doesn't matter how far you bend. It's more like getting long in the spine before you side bend and really try to use those fingertips, clasp the hands together, squeeze the bum, lift up the kneecaps. Draw yourself back up to center, everybody. Slowly open up those arms and bring them down to the sides. Beautiful. I'm gonna open up my feet and we're gonna do a windmill. I'm gonna open them up a little bit beyond my, the width of this mat that's underneath my double mat. And a windmill is basically just your arms are out into a T and you're going to draw yourself down to that right foot and tap it with the hand and come on back up nice and straight everybody. Now to the left side and draw back up nice and straight. If you need to bend the knee, go right ahead. I do because I'm super tight. And now over to the left side. We're gonna do 10, so that's two. Over to the right side, and draw back up to the left side. To the right, ah, and to the left. Find a little bit of cadence here where you just find your rhythm. That was my fifth set over here on to the left. And now six. And here's seven. Beautiful. Two more. Ah. One more. And here's our last one. a little dynamic stretching and then just hop your feet together. I'm going to come to the back of my mat and we're going to do a little chaturangas like sun salutations. I'm going to bring my feet together at the back of my mat. I'm looking forward. I'm in that nice little mountain pose, lifting, squeezing my butt, lifting my kneecaps a little bit. Inhale, draw the arms up. Exhale, roll on down one vertebrae at a time. Come to that forward fold, open up the feet to hip width apart. Pause there in that forward fold, find a little bit of a stretch, maybe bend one knee and the other. And now walk the hands out into downward dog, everybody. Again, if you wanna use your blocks, go right ahead. Feels good to use those blocks. I'm really reaching my hips up to the ceiling, tucking my belly in, dropping my head, looking in between the knees. Look in between those knees, everybody. 
And I'm gonna have to come off my blocks for a second to do a little chaturanga. So I'm gonna take an inhale to that plank pose. My first push-up, I'm just gonna bring my knees down to the mat, exhaling to that push-up. Inhale to a nice little low cobra, or tall, wherever you are in your stretch, and exhale back into downward dog. We're gonna do a second manasana here. Pause a moment, just find your stretch. Here we go, inhale, exhale down, inhale upward, and exhale downward. Bring the knees down to the mat, uncurl the toes, and bring yourself up to just kneeling, all right? You're gonna take your right foot and you're gonna bring it forward into a nice little tabletop. I'm gonna take my arms, they're gonna be sort of behind me a little bit, and you're just gonna inhale, raise them up to the ceiling, and I want you to hinge a little bit forward with the hips, and then press the right foot into the mat to come back. Hinge forward again, two, and then press back. Here's three, and press on back. Number four, and press on back. Draw the hands right in front of you in prayer. Twist to the right. See if you can lean over and put that left elbow on the outside of that right knee. Left elbow on the outside of the right knee and you just kind of press those hands together and look beyond that left elbow. Right elbow, excuse me. Look beyond that right elbow, press it together. For those of you who want to go up to level two, you curl the toe under and come up off of that left knee. I'm gonna stay right here in this nice little stretch because it feels good. And now I'm gonna draw myself back up with my hands in prayer right in front, and then draw the arms up to the ceiling, open them to a T, and I'm just gonna twist over to the left. Twisting over to the left. Make sure that right knee doesn't twist with you. Twist over to the left. Beautiful. Can you reach that left arm a little bit away from you? And then come on back to center. You're going to reach a little bit to the left. And then come on back to center. Again, a little bit to the left. And then back to center. And now pinwheel the hands back to the center and draw your arms up and back down to the mat. Now lift up that knee off the mat. Right foot is connected into the mat. The left knee is off and you're pressing that left heel to the wall. You're in a runner stretch, gaze beyond the mat. Breathe into it, gaze beyond the mat. Maybe you use your blocks right underneath your hands, nice and gentle. You don't have to, you want to be working the legs, not so much the hands on the blocks. And now gently take that left hand to the mat, right arm, and you twist up into your nice gentle twist, this time with the knee off the mat. Beautiful, everybody. Breathe into it. Feels good, stretch that right arm up nice and long. Really reach, open up the chest. And now draw the right hand back down to the mat. Left knee down to the mat. Bring the right foot back so that you're kneeling. You're now kneeling on both knees, right? Be nice and tall. And now take that left foot and you're gonna draw it forward, okay? So we're trying to find our balance here, right? As we're trying to be even weight distribution, not leaning so much onto the right, not so much onto the left. Try to find your center. Arms are nice and long. They're drawn back slightly. Inhale, draw them up. 
Now, let the shoulders drop down. Don't have them up by your ears. Let them drop down and you're gonna hinge forward slightly with your hips and then use the left foot to press back and your abdominals. Hinge forward two and now press back. Abdominals press in. Hinge forward three. Draw the abdominals in. Hinge forward four and draw in, beautiful. Take the hands right in front of you in prayer. I want you to twist to the left and see if you can get that right elbow to the outside of the left knee, press the palms together, gaze beyond the left elbow. But lengthen the head. I'm not saying to gaze to turn the neck, the neck stays nice and long, but your eyes gaze down towards that left elbow. Find the twist, draw the belly in. Breathe into it, everybody. One side always feels different than the other. And now we're just gonna draw ourselves back up to the center and you're gonna just open up the arms, draw them up to the ceiling, and then bring them out to a T, and now twist to the right. We're just twisting to the right, opposite way. Check to make sure your left knee isn't trying to turn in towards the right. It tries to stay straight, and you have this nice twist going on in your T12. Now we're gonna reach with the right arm just a little bit to the right, and then draw it back in. Twist it a little bit and come back in. Here's four and draw back in. And then five or four, draw back in. I totally lost count, everybody. And now twist back to center. And now we're just going to draw the arms up and then pinwheel them back down to the mat. Here's where we curl the right toes under, lift. The right knee off the mat and find yourself in that beautiful runner stretch. Again, you don't need to be on those hands so hard. You need to be working the legs and pulling the belly back. Okay? Work that left leg, everybody. Yes, you should feel the glutes, the ham, and the quadricep working. You're gazing beyond your mat. Now I'm just gonna put my left hand down to the mat as I reach my right arm to a gentle twist to the left. Press the right heel back to the wall. Open up both arms and look up or look forward, whichever feels good to your neck. Beautiful. And now come back down to the mat and you're just going to draw that right knee down to the mat and come on up and then draw the left knee back to kneeling. I'm gonna take my blocks and I'm gonna put them back behind me just in case I need them by my feet. We're gonna do um, a camel, but we're just gonna do one side at a time. So I'm gonna curl my toes under and the thing about the camel is you want to try to push the hips forward when you're reaching back all right so i'm going to take my right hand and it's going to reach back to that right heel or your block lifting up that left arm so reach up back and push the hips forward everybody you can dump the head back or you can keep it up. Or you can use a block also right there if you can't find your heel. So you're really trying to push the hips forward. If you want to uncurl the toes and use your yoga block, that works too. And you find that you get this nice quadricep stretch. Push into it, push into it, breathe. Now, gently take that right hand, put it behind the lower back, 
Draw yourself up, release the left arm, and your both hands are sort of supporting your back, right? All right, we're gonna do the opposite side. So I'm gonna start with my toes curled first, and that left hand reaches back towards my heel, right arm reaches up. Oh yeah, that feels good, pushing my hips forward. And now, I'm just gonna uncurl those toes, lay them flat onto the mat, use my left hand on the block as I reach forward with my hips. Reach forward with my hips and my belly. Squeeze your glutes a little bit too. Squeeze the glutes. Again, it's not a roll back. It's kind of like up high and then you shift back reaching up and then you shift back. Beautiful, and now to come out, you take that left hand behind the back, the right hand in front, support yourself, back up to a nice kneeling position. Now I'm gonna come back onto the mat with my hands. I'm gonna open up my knees nice and wide and do a super wide child's pose. I have my toes touching in the back, and I'm gonna sit back into a nice wide child's pose as I draw my forehead down to the mat. Woo, wiggle, wiggle, wiggle in there if you want to, whatever feels good to you. If you feel like you need to have your yoga block underneath your forehead, go right ahead. Just think about drawing the belly back to the spinal cord and breathing into this. Beautiful. Come on up. We're going to do thread the needle. So I'm going to take my right hand and draw it up to the ceiling. I'm on a quadruped, right? And then I'm going to draw that right arm right underneath me. Put the right shoulder down to the mat. Let my right ear kind of come to the mat. Lengthen my neck. Sit my butt back. Extend that left arm. Maybe you twist a little more. Some people really can twist in their thoracic, drawing that right arm further towards the wall and finding a twist. And maybe you look up a little bit too. But try to stay with the ear connected to the mat. I just had to pull my right shoulder down towards my right knee a little bit because it was inking, scooching up towards my ear. Ah, this is so good. Thank you for joining me today. Ah, I'm just going to release now out of that nice little T stretch. Bring that right arm back to the mat, and now I'm gonna lift the left arm gentle and easy, reaching up. And now I'm just gonna draw that left arm underneath the belly and put that left shoulder onto the mat. The left ear comes onto the mat, everybody. Extend the right arm if that feels good. Also, shift the hips back. Shift the hips back. Breathe into this pose. Ah, ever so gently, and then you inch a little more if it feels good to twist a little more. What I love about yoga is like, you can see improvement and it's just minuscule where it's just like, I can twist a little bit more this morning and it just feels good. My lower back feels good, stretching. I'm sitting towards my heels a bit, drawing that left shoulder away from the left ear, but the left ear tries to press further into the mat. One more breath. And now I'm gonna press back up into my little beautiful quadruped. <clears throat> okay, so we're going to curl the toes under, pop up into that downward dog, find your little pedaling, 
your flow. We're going to prepare for a pigeon. <clears throat> so you can go right into the pigeon or you can do a three-legged dog where you lift that right leg off the mat and you point the toe and stretch that leg. Think of somebody holding your leg. If you were in class, I would pull the leg away from you, which is super fun and feels really good. And now I'm going to draw that right knee into my chest. Find a little bit of this like hump or that cat. And now I'm going to bring that right knee over towards my right wrist. Beautiful. And you're just trying to make a nice little, you know, I can't do 90 degree. I've never been able to do 90 degree with my right leg or my left leg. But, you know, pigeon is wherever you can have that right knee bent and that left leg is nice and long, but the top of the left leg reaches on the mat nice and long. You can feel that. You should be able to feel that stretch right in the glute area. Glutes. There's a bunch of them in there. It's not just one. Slowly come down to your forearms, everybody. Hang here a minute in the forearm position. Mm. I do love yoga. I go in and out of Pilates yoga, Pilates yoga. Right now I'm very much into doing more yoga, but gentle yoga. So I'm breathing into this. Maybe I bring my yoga block and put my forehead nice and gentle on top of that yoga block and just kind of release into that right hip. Draw the belly back. Shoulders are relaxed. And now gently come on up and we're going to do seated twist from this position, everybody. So seated twist means kind of rolling back onto that right butt, release the left leg, bring it all the way around in front of that right knee, left foot in front of the right knee. Okay. If it doesn't fit there, you just put it right alongside of the right leg. So if it doesn't go all the way over, you just bring it right here, okay? So we're in this nice little seated twist. Again, if this is hard for people to get their uh, hips down towards the mat, you can always put a block or a pillow underneath the butt on the left side or the right side. I'm gonna sit up kind of tall and put my hands in front of this left shin to find my sits bone. My left sits bone will not go down today. All right, I'm trying to talk to it. It won't, won't do what I'm telling it to do. <laughs> I'm gonna take my left hand, I'm gonna put that behind my back. I'm gonna draw the right arm up, 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 up. Reach it up, reach it up, reach it up. And now gently twisting to the left. You take that right hand, put it on the outside of the left knee, and you find that twist. Find the twist. Your left arm is kind of like the back of an easel, okay? You want that back to be nice and tall. The shoulders are wide. Seated twist, everybody. Again, some people want to hook. You can hook your right arm around that right knee too to draw it in and now gently we're just going to release the upper torso not the legs and twist the opposite way left hand grabs the left ankle right arm goes behind the back and you twist and look over that right shoulder if it's available breathing into it Maybe you turn your head also to the left and then maybe turn it to the right. Nice. And now I'm just gonna reach back with my hand, release that left leg, 
bring it around, come back to that nice little quadruped. You may want to stretch the legs out a little bit, kind of doing a bit of a plank. Come down to the forearms. Palms are going to touch each other. And you're down to those forearms. Uh, palms can touch or they can be straight on the mat, all right? Um, I'm going to have mine touching each other. I'm going to curl my toes under. We're going to go into a nice little dolphin here. So you just reach those knees off the mat and it's a shoulder stand because I don't want you to slouch into the shoulders. Push out of the shoulders. Just let your head drop. Look at your toes. See if you can walk your toes a little more forward. Press the forearms into the mat. Press the forearms into the mat. See if you can get your heels down a bit. Dolphin. This is a difficult pose, everybody. It's not easy. And now slowly draw those knees down to the mat. And now you're gonna just take the hands up into that nice little quadruped. And you're gonna curl the toes under, reach on back, come up into a downward dog. We're gonna do that series on the left side, okay? Left leg reaches up to the ceiling. We're preparing for pigeon. So if you can't do this, three-legged dog start to go into your pigeon. So I'm holding my leg up, I'm reaching it back, I'm reaching it back. Draw the left knee into the chest. Find your black cat, reach into that black cat. Left knee goes to left wrist. Extend the right leg out nice and long. The top of the leg is on the mat. We are preparing, we are in pigeon on the left side. Okay. Ah, feels really good. I'm gonna come down to my forearms. I'm just gonna kind of hang here in my pigeon a little bit. Letting my glute release. Allowing for the lower back to release, breathing into it. I'm going to maybe make a pillow and put my forehead on top of my hands that are on top of each other. And I'm just going to gently breathe into my pigeon. Mm -mm -mm. feel everything just opening up and my body relaxing and allowing for the stretch, allowing for the blood vessels to open, expand, oxygen to move through them. I'm gently keeping my focus on my breath. I'm gently just going to come up and now I'm going to prepare for that seated twist. So I'm going to bring that right leg around in front of or on the outside of my left knee. So it just depends on where you are flexibility wise. You sit up nice and tall by drawing your hands in front of that shin to make that spine nice and tall, right? Again, you know, we're always kind of thinking like, how do we get the crown to the ceiling? You know, it's not like bending into it. It's how do we get wide and long, wide with the chest, the shoulders. I'm gonna take this right hand, I'm gonna put it behind my back. It's gonna be that easel again, reaching the left arm up really long and tall, reaching, 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 and then I'm slowly twisting to the right. I'm looking out my front of my studio at my beautiful turquoise wall. 
My left arm is on the outside of that right knee. If it's available to you, otherwise you can just kind of grab that right knee with the elbow or the hand or something, or you can make that left arm nice and straight and twist. See if you can look over that right shoulder. The head is tall. Now I want you to look into the right eye socket with your eyeballs. Slowly move your eyeballs to the left socket. You should be looking at your nose a little bit. And then back over to the right eye socket. And then over to the left. And then stop that. And now rotate back to the center with your arms. Leave your legs where they are. Right hand grabs the right ankle. Left arm tries to go back behind the back. Wide shoulders, everybody. Look beyond the left shoulder if it's available. Draw the belly in. Breathe into it. No yanking. Just really nice and smooth. Ah, love it. And now I'm just gonna twist back to the center. I'm gonna untwist my legs, bring them in front of me. I'm gonna shake them out a little bit, meaning like bend them and slap them onto the ground here. All right, I'm grabbing my yoga strap. Okay, I'm grabbing my yoga strap. I'm gonna see if this works. I'm gonna try something kind of crazy, crazy new. I'm gonna see if I can get my yoga strap underneath my right foot and then underneath my left foot. And my legs are gonna come in a little bit closer than really trying to. You have to have, I think this is, I think my strap might be 12 inches or something or more, probably more than that. But I've got my feet flexed into it and I've got, I'm just on the edges. I have my fingers in the little um, rings and I'm trying to sit up tall here. I'm trying to keep the back of my leg down to the mat also, not my knees bent, okay? So the more that you can keep the back of the leg towards the mat, so maybe you have to bring your legs in a little bit. And I'm sitting up tall here, I'm not hunching over, so maybe you have to draw those legs in just a little bit, toes to the ceiling, and sit up nice and tall. This is a bit of a static uh, stretch where we're just kind of, I want you to feel like really reaching those hips and the femur bone down to the mat. You know where I'm talking about, it's like where the leg and the hip are. See if you can press that down. It's like squeezing your glute, but you're pressing down into that. It's lovely, isn't it? And now just gently release, and you're just gonna put the strap on the right foot towards the pad of the foot. And now see if you can open your legs a little bit more. I'm going to take the strap just in one hand, my right hand, and I'm gonna kind of sit up tall. I'm gonna have my left arm out to the side, right? Left arm out to the side and I'm sitting up tall. My toes are pointed. I'm just going to lift that left arm up and I'm gonna do a little side stretch over. Obviously the right elbow bends and you're just side stretching. Maybe you're lengthening that left arm. Some people like to go right over and touch the right toes. Doesn't matter, whatever feels good to you. Here's the thing, is the left hip staying down? That's what you want to make sure is happening, that that left hip stays down. Can you stretch a little bit more? Just a little bit more down towards, maybe you're looking at that right knee. And now exhale as you draw yourself back up. That was lovely, wasn't it? 
and now we're going to switch and put that strap underneath the left foot, the pad area, not the arch, the pad. I'm going to grab my left arm is nice and long and I've got that both straps is in one hand and my right arm is out to the side. I'm in this nice tripod here and now I'm just going to take that right arm, reach it up to the ceiling and now I'm going to side bend over to my left. Again, try to keep that right hip down as you reach into that side and you just breathe into that, draw the belly back, lengthen the head, lengthen the crown of the head, everybody. Breathe into it. Maybe you side bend a little bit more. Ah, yes. One side feels tighter than the other. And now I'm gonna draw myself back up that arm goes nice and wide to the right. Beautiful. And now I'm just going to release that band and I'm going to put it right in front of me. Bend the knees, put the hands underneath the knees, bend those knees, draw them in. You sit back onto your tailbone, everybody. I'm going to turn sideways and we're just going to have a nice little balancing abdominal uh, work here. So I'm sitting on my uh, bum with a little bit of a C curve, Pilates everybody, and my hands are underneath my knees, all right? This is a boat pulling pose, which is yoga also. So you're gonna draw the right leg into tabletop, left leg into tabletop. The knees and ankles hang with each other. Now, if this is all you can do, stay right here. If you want to release the hands, release the hands, press those knees together, draw the belly back. For those of you who want to go to level three, you can extend the legs nice and long. Really think about the C curve, draw the belly in, shoulders are relaxed. Hold it there, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, Bend your knees, put the hands behind, sit up tall, put the left leg down, the right leg down, extend the legs out in front of you, flex the feet. Put your hands right alongside of you, palms are trying to face down a little bit as you sit up tall. Reach the arms up to the ceiling, do a forward fold everybody, nice and gentle and easy. Mm -mm. Beautiful. Pressing those legs into the mat. As you roll back up, you're just going to bend one knee and then the other knee and you're going to come up onto your toes. The heels are not on the mat, you're on your toes. You're gonna put your hands right in front of those um, shins and we're gonna roll back and forth uh, four times. So I'm gonna roll back onto my back and roll on up, that's one. Keep the knees close to you. Two, rolling back three. And roll back four. This time when you roll back, stay down there. Just roll on back and draw the knees into the chest. Beautiful, extend the left leg nice and long onto the mat. The right knee draws into the chest. Draw the right knee over by the right armpit just a little bit. Neck is nice and long, shoulders are wide on the mat. Take that right leg now, extend it to the ceiling. Find your um, strap. Put the strap underneath the pad of the foot. The strap is in both hands. Your elbows are on the mat. So your 
arms are bent and you just have that leg up to the ceiling into a nice beautiful stretch the heel is pressing towards the ceiling think about your leg also why the heel is pressing the leg kind of comes down into the socket of the pelvis in the pelvis like it's pressing down into the mat do you all feel that if i let go of my strap I don't feel anything on the mat. When I hold my strap down, then the leg kind of goes into the mat. Maybe you have to move your leg out an inch or so to the right and then draw it back in to sort of feel that. I want you to feel that stretch. Beautiful. We're going to take the strap into the left hand, both straps, and you're going to draw that leg over to the left. Open up the right arm with the palm up to the ceiling. You're looking up at the ceiling and we're doing a nice little gentle triangle on the floor, if you will, somewhat like a triangle. Maybe you have to put a yoga block underneath that left foot, or maybe you are holding that left leg off the mat. It's totally fine. Ah, oh, I know I'm going to feel good after this class. Getting all the cobwebs out. Draw my right leg back up to the ceiling, opening up the right leg, holding the strap in the right arm. Open up that right leg to the right side. Gentle and easy. Let your muscles sink into the breath. ceiling I'm going to take my left leg put it into the strap release the right leg down to the mat my right leg is now my left leg is now to the ceiling my heel is pressing to the ceiling and again I'm thinking about that leg kind of coming down to the back side of the mat right I'm pressing that leg into the mat, the back side. You should feel that like in your glute. Want you to look at your foot and make sure your foot is flat and it's not twisted at all. Okay? It's as if you could be standing on that leg, standing on that foot. Breathing into this beautiful stretch, opening up our glutes and our hamstrings and our quads. Sometimes people like to do a little bit of a circle or move that leg a little bit in this nice stretch. Feels good. And now I'm going to draw the straps together. Take my right hand, grab the strap with the right arm extended long. Take that left leg over to the right side. Open up the left arm. The palm faces up to the ceiling. And just breathe into this stretch, everybody. Push the heel. Push the heel. Uh, neck is nice and long. Shoulders are wide. Draw that left leg back up to the ceiling. Switch arms. Left arm grabs the strap and open up to the left side with that left leg right arm opens up right leg is nice and long oh breathing into it drop the shoulders everybody into that strap. I'm going to bend my knees and then straighten my legs. Bend my knees and straighten my legs. 
And now I'm going to release that strap off to the side. And I'm going to bend my knees and do a happy baby. Grab your big toes. Arms are inside those knees. The knees open up super wide. And you can either extend one leg at a time or both. Your choice in your happy baby. Again, try not to have that neck arched at all. I like to extend both legs and then I roll side to side a little bit. Very playfully, very gentle, open legs. This can be very vulnerable for women. Let everything go. In your happy baby, the tailbone tries to connect to the mat. Bend the knees in and release the toes. Roll to the right side. I want you to come up to sitting. We just have one last pose before Shavasana. Legs are extended out. You're just going to get the junk off the trunk of your butt, like reach and grab your buttocks and legs are forward, the feet are flexed, draw the arms up to the ceiling, float yourself forward into a nice little forward fold, pausing right there, pressing the legs into the mat, finding that beautiful stretch. And now gently take your time to roll on down into Shavasana. I'm going to put a little gentle music on. Opposite leg in and the other one 
forward just for a different feel, sitting up nice and tall, the hands may be in prayer or right at your knees and in gratitude for our yoga today, for showing up, for being here. Uh, thank you very much, namaste. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Thank you all for being here.